Hey, Daniel Lanier here, and I'm here in my home office getting something new set up, and I think you're going to like it. Now, if you're new to my videos, you may have missed the video on the Tresante adjustable height desk. It's an adjustable standing desk. I think you will really like that. Check that video out. And if you want to do a little exercise, maybe just get yourself moving a little bit, I've also had a video on balance boards. So in your home office, you know, just get your standing adjustable height desk. And then doing a little balance to keep you moving and stuff like that. So check those videos out for the home office. I think you'll really like them. But today, I've got something for you that a lot of people, especially if you're transitioning from work to your home office, a lot of people have thought about this. And it's, it's kind of a complaint that people have because they want their home office set up just like their work office. Also, if you're just transitioning to a complete home office where all you do is work from home, could be a personal projects that you do or you're just transitioning to a home-based business, a dual monitor setup. A lot of people have been talking about how do I get a cool dual monitor setup in my home office? And I've got the Hawanyo dual monitor adjustable arm setup. You're going to love this. This thing is really nice because... You can go from 17 inch screens to 27 inch screens in this setup. You can also, they, uh, they hold up to 14.3 pounds per arm. So you can get a really nice monitor setup. It's 360 flexible, so you can flex it up and down. You can also turn your monitor vertical as well. So you can do a vertical setup and one horizontal setup. We'll talk about that later. And you can really move these arms, have a nice range of motion to them. So we're going to open this up see what we got in the box, and then see how to set it up because there's some different things you want to think about in configuring this setup for your desk. Now for the Tresanti desk that I have, I got to do a little modification, so we'll talk about that. For different uh, types of desks, you may have to do just a few things to think about. Also have a glass top, so that's something to consider as well. We'll talk about that also. So let's get this thing unboxed, get into the video, get it set up, and you guys can see how much you're going to love the Hawanyo dual monitor adjustable arm setup. Daniel Lanier, let's go. All right, so there's really not a lot to this, to be honest with you. And Hawanyo did a great job of getting it all set up, so there's not a lot of setup you gotta do as far as putting things together either. So we have our instruction manual. Always important instructions, people. And then this is basically the arm setup here. So this is the arms in here. Take these bags off so you guys can see it a little better. It's like Christmas. Or birthday. Yeah. Alright, so that's the arm setup that we have there. Little arm system. You got your VESA mounts going on for your monitor so you got to make sure your monitors have a VESA mount and this has both adjustments so you can do three inches or four inches or 75 millimeters or 100 millimeters that's pretty much what all the VESA mounts have so that's our arms and then you've got you've got two of these Two sets and these are basically your adjustments to how you're gonna clamp it to your desk so this one goes on the mount and this guy go. so basically like that and then you're gonna get it it's got these little notches so you get it close and then you use the rest and we'll talk about this obviously when we set it up and then you're just gonna clamp that to the desk all right so that's our clamps and like i said we have two of these so two sets of those and then we got our hardware so we got some various hardware which we'll talk about this comes with the screws that you're going to use for your monitor so the screws are included in here for your monitor setup so you have that and we're ready to go got some allen wrenches in here so we're ready to go let's do it 
All right, so let's talk about tabletops and getting everything mounted on the tabletop. So if you just have a wood desk or a composite type of desk, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna be able to just put this down and clamp it. I do have a couple things I wanna talk about with that. Now, if you have a glass top like I do, you definitely wanna take some things into consideration because if you look here, this is all open and this is all pretty much, you got a little bit of plastic right here, but you got some metal in here as well. Now, Juanio does make a little plate, a flat plate that goes over the glass. I wanted to do a little something different. And if you feel like a little arts and crafts, what I did was just cut out some cardboard and just made this cardboard, just cut it out around the base and I put the black so it matches. So if it's out a little bit, I've got the, the black edge there. And then this is just the things you would use in your kitchen cabinets, a little rubber that you would use in your kitchen cabinets. So I'm going to use that to go on the glass. So if you feel like a little arts and crafts, you can just do a couple of cutouts and use that for your base, which should work very well. Shouldn't be a problem there. Now, if you have a, a hole in, in your desk so you can put something straight through, it actually has an attachment that you can use um, like a grommet hole that goes straight through your desk. You actually have an attachment that you can use for that that goes right in the middle here and it comes with a bolt that you can use that as well. So it does have a couple of different options for you. So if you have that available to you, you can use that as well. For us, we just have to use a little arts and crafts template. We're gonna put that on the base and then we're just gonna lock it down with the clamps. So we just wanna protect the glass surface and really be careful. So if you have a glass tabletop, I'm telling you guys, just be careful. You don't wanna over tighten it and go crazy and crack this glass, but you definitely wanna put something down on the glass so the pressure is not just on the glass. Now, if you're a Trasanti user, and I'm sure some of my Trasanti users might like adding a dual monitor system, We've got to add even one more modification and depending on your desk, you may have to do that modification as well. And that's on the bottom of the tabletop. So we're going to take a look at that and see the other modification that I had to do to the bottom of the tabletop to get this all set up and ready. All right. So we'll talk about that in a second. What we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and mount our brackets on here. So our brackets are all set to go. So when we get to the next phase underneath, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, the adjustment that I had to make for the bottom of this desk. And depending on how your desk is set up, you may have to make that adjustment as well. So we'll talk about that, but let's get the brackets mounted and we're, we're, getting, we're getting close. We're getting close to getting those monitors on there. It's gonna look great, let's do it. All right, so installing the brackets, not a hard process. What we got is we have six screws, so three for each bracket. And then we're going to put them in. Now the key to this is you want to make sure. So if you look at this, this is the front. So this is the front that you're going to see towards your desk. This is the front right here. So as I'm mounting this, I want to make sure that the long part of the bracket goes towards the back. So this long piece right here should be going towards the back of the bracket. So again, this is the front and you can tell that you got the blanks right here. So where you would put those USB connections, you got that. And then you want to make sure that you got the bracket going that way, which is really the only way you can really get it in there. But so make sure everyone is on the same page. So I'm just going to drop these in. And you're just using the Allen wrench that came with it. And I always make sure I get everything kind of in there in case I need to move it before I get everything tightened down. Get all the bolts 
start it. And one is good. Now we're just gonna take that right out. All right, and now we're set up to go ahead and mount this on the desk, but I do have to show you guys the thing I talked to you guys about the Trasanti desk, or maybe a desk you may have too, may have this exact same issue. So the next spot I'm gonna meet you guys is under the desk. Let's go. All right, so the reason we're under the desk is I've got a couple things going on here. My desktop sits all the way up here, so I've got about what is this, four inches, let's say, say three or four inches going up here to I actually get to the tabletop so I've got this lip right here that extends down and what's actually happening if I take my mount I'm gonna take my mount just put it down right here so you can see and if I take the bracket and I try to put the bracket on I just gotta lean it back and then it's got these little notches that I can clip on you can see that I'm not gonna have a flat surface right here to go on. I can't screw this on like this. That's not gonna, gonna hold it properly. I'm not gonna be able to, to have a good hold on here on my clamp and my monitors will probably fall off if I do that. So what I ended up doing, I just took some wood that I had and I had to make a little block. And the reason I used half inch by four inch blocks and I just put enough together that will allow me to go up to the base so I'm filling up this whole gap right here but I'm extending past the gap because I still need put the clamp on so that's gonna give me a nice flat surface to work on and it's gonna be able to disperse that pressure across this wood I'm not going to have any issues, so it's going to sit fine on this wood. So I just had to make a little adjustment because I had this lip and the clamps couldn't get all the way to the tabletop. So I had to make this little adjustment here. So if you have a desk that you don't, you have like a lip or the desktop's going up and you can't get the clamps quite on and you have a situation that looks like, let's do it again so you can see. If you have a situation that looks like this, where the clamp is not going to be able to go to the tabletop. You may have to make something like that. You may have to do a modification. So you're not done. You can't, don't say, oh man, I can't use this mount. You can actually do something like that. Now I, I couldn't use, I know some of you guys are thinking, Neil, you could have just used a two by four. Two by four wasn't enough to come down past the lip. So I could have used a two by four and just one one by four, um, one and a half by four. So it could have done something like that. But I just made a block just to make sure I had enough space to come down and enough lip. So you may have to make a modification like that for your desk. If your desk is just a solid piece like this, you don't have to do anything. The clamp will just go on and it'll be fine. But this is just a modification I want to talk about. I do have the Trisante desk. So if my Trisante users want to do something like this, you will have to make this modification. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing all the way on and mounted and we'll be done all right so it's funny you guys see my favorite reading spot right here in the background my big fluffy pillow so i'm gonna take my block and i'm just gonna put that up there position that then i'm gonna take my bracket clamp and you just lean it in so you can get it and it's going on this first just gotta twist my clamps all the way to the bottom. And just leaning it so I can go up and it's gonna rest right on, mine is resting on this second notch right here. And then I'm gonna dial in to do the rest of the work. And once I get this one, so it's just holding the wood for me, put the other one on. Let it rest on the notch. And do the same thing. Get it snugged up. All right, and then I'm gonna snug the other one a little more. And 
And for me, I want to really be careful. Now, I've made some precautions by putting my rubber up here. I got my rubber on the plate and rubber between the glass and a piece of cardboard in between that. I got my wood, so I'm not against the glass surface. And all I'm doing is really, I want to snug these guys up. So it's just pretty tight, perfect, that's good. You don't want to over crank this on a glass tabletop because you can break your glass, you can crack your glass. So you really want to be careful. So I just got these guys just snugged up so they're nice and tight. And I don't want to move at all, feels good. And if I have to make a slight little adjustment, once I put the weight of the monitors on there, then you make that adjustment then. But don't try to crank this thing down because you don't, again, you don't want to crack the glass with glass tabletop. If you have wood, you can crank it. I wouldn't go crazy cranking. It doesn't have to be that tight, but um, just get it nice and snug on there so everything fits. All right, so we're fully mounted now, and now we can talk about doing the cable run making adjustments to your arms and getting those monitors put in place. Can't wait to show you guys how cool it looks. All right, so we've got it clamped to the desk and ready to go. Now we're gonna start getting it set up to put the monitors actually on. So to do that right now, the arms are under a little bit of tension. There's a tension adjustment right here, but to take them off, to, to release them, they put these Velcro straps on here and we're gonna take this Velcro and I'm just gonna push down a little bit here and I'm just gonna hold it with my hand. So I'm holding it with my hand and then I'm just gonna ease up, take that strap off and let it up because it's under a little tension. So you wanna hold it and do the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna hold it down with my hand ease that strap off and then just let it up and now we've got our arms up ready to go and we're going to start this process of getting them set up right now the tension's on pretty tight but we're going to start this process of getting these guys set up to put our displays on so you can see already this is a pretty cool setup that you're going to have a lot of adjustments you can make to really fine tune it to get your displays on. And it's it's gonna be able to hold it because I can feel that spring, see that spring tension in there. It has a lot of tension, so we should be good at holding up these 27 inch displays. Let's get to it. Now I've got to say this because I was wondering this myself. In the instruction book, there's this picture right here of someone with their neck right here by this clamp. Now, like I said, these are under tension, but at no time do I want you to put your neck anywhere near the tension in these devices because for some reason something happened at some point that they needed to put that instruction and that warning in the instructions so keep your neck away from i'm talking this part of your neck away from the tension on these arms keep it away because for some reason that was in the instructions so i just want to warn you guys watch out so fair warning put your neck near the tension on this tension arm, all right? All right, all right, let's get this monitor on and then we'll make the adjustments to the angle and things like that. We'll talk about that after we get the monitor on. I'll put one on, on here. And my monitor's not that heavy, so I can probably do this by myself. We're gonna find out here in a second. And you're gonna pick the screws that fit. So beforehand, I went with the shorter screws. Look like they're gonna work my configuration. So I'm gonna come in here with my monitor, get it in here, and I'm using, I gotta adjust this angle. in the outside and I've got these little grommets that came with it and I'm putting those between the display and the metal
All right, so there it is. We got the monitor on. Move it around. Spin it. Flex it. And I can, we're going to talk about the tension and getting the tension right as far as going up and down and getting the adjustments exactly how we want it here in a second. Let's get the other monitor on and we'll talk about making adjustments because I'll get it set up pretty much how I want it. We'll do the cable runs as well. So we'll get this really fine tuned here in a second. Let's get the other monitor on and then we'll take a look at that. All right, let's talk about the cable run and running the cables into the arm of the mounting bracket. So we got our HDMI and our power cables. Now, Huanio made it really simple for you because they've got these little cases right here that you can run your cable runs into to make everything look nice and neat. And there's a screw here and a screw here. And then we're just gonna pop these off, run our cables, and then it'll be nice and neat and compact inside the arm. So let's get that done. All right, in the top part of the arm, the screw hole is right in the little hole right here. It's a Phillips screwdriver. Take that off real. Definitely off. And then you're just going to squeeze this in together. And then that part of the run comes off. And then we're going to do the bottom part. On the bottom section is another little screw right here. Oops, I'm sorry. It's in the second hole. I got to pull the arm out a little bit so I can get to it. And this one's a little tricky. Got to kind of get it straight in there. So many jokes I have right now, but we're going to keep it clean. That one and this one. You're squeezing these ends together. This, this one doesn't come all the way off. It just kind of leans forward like that. So don't try to pull this one all the way off. It just leans forward just like this. So you're just squeezing these ends together right here and just kind of pulling it back. Don't pull it too hard because I'm sure you could just break it off. So you just got to pull it just a little bit and then bring it down to pull that. And then we're going to run our cables in here. All right, so we're gonna, one of the things you wanna do is you don't want to be tight in the bracket like this. You wanna leave them a little, little bit of play. So as you adjust your monitor, like the tilt, or if you move it from vertical to horizontal, you got a little bit of play out here with your cables. So I'm not gonna put them tight, tight. That's the first part, all good. Now the second part of the run, you're actually running through these little side latches. So we're gonna run in and then we're gonna run back out. What I'm navigating on in the inside is where the screw goes. So I'm trying to get that HDMI cable to kind of go around where the screw body goes. So there we go. So in the top, 
<clears throat> you're basically just going into the top of this first section right here and then that's going to come out the bottom of it and then you're running into the side of this bottom section and then out the back side of the bottom section here so that's it so you got your cable run pretty simple process there let's uh i'm gonna go ahead and get the other side set up and then we're finally going to talk about adjusting the tension on the arms all right so let's talk about the tension arms finally get to that point right a lot of people have been thinking about that so you got a couple of adjustments that you can make as far as getting things loose so you can adjust them so you've got an adjustment right here for your angle so right if it's too tight you can just loosen it but you want it tight enough that when you make the adjustment it stays to where it is then you also have an adjustment on the arm going up and down so right now i've got mine adjusted so wherever i put it it's going to stay in that adjustment now if you look at this one i didn't adjust this one yet and i did that because i wanted you guys to kind of see the difference so if i push down on this one it's just going to go back up because these monitors are pretty light that i have if you have a heavier monitor you may have to adjust the opposite where it may go all the way down so you may have to put more tension to keep it on so what i have to do is adjust it so there's enough tension because the monitor is so light that when i press on it the gas spring keeps that tension so it keeps it in place where i want it so this one's adjusted so i can adjust this and get it exactly where i want no issues at all so i'm going to do the same thing for this one only difference is I'm going to show you guys how I did it. All right, let's do it. All right, so what you have is a plus or minus adjustment here, right? Kind of on the elbow, if you will. So if I press down right now, it's not holding that position, right? My monitor is too light to move it down. It's not holding that position. So I've got to adjust it. Now, it may take you a couple of turns, and you're just using your Allen wrench. There's a little adjustment right in here. It may take you a couple of turns to get it, to where you need it so i'm just going to press down just a little bit and i'm going to turn it towards the plus and when it comes to adjustments like this something i always tell people if it's not doing what you want turn it the other way don't get stuck on this isn't working so you can see already it's starting to get what i want i'm just going to go just a little bit more you don't have to screw these tight it's not like a screw that you're adjusting for tightness what you're doing is allowing either more or less gas pressure to hold the spring not the spring but the tension that's what i want i want to be able to position this exactly what i want and i'm just using my finger ease it down and it's staying where i want and that's what you want so you want enough gas pressure in that piston to hold it the monitor at whatever height or position you want and that's how you're going to make that adjustment pretty simple right and we've got everything set up so let's just close it out let's wrap up with a few things all right so there it is we are all set up the Hawanyo dual monitor mount set up it's awesome i am in love with it now, some, some things to think about that we went through in this process, right? So if you have a regular flat desk, your desk is just flat, you're not gonna have any, anything to really do with that. You're just gonna clamp it on, you're gonna be good to go. If you have a glass tabletop like mine, there are some things you wanna think about. You wanna protect that glass tabletop. You don't want it to crack, so you wanna be careful. You wanna put something in place to protect that glass tabletop. If you have a recessed desk like I did, you may have to make a slight adjustment or put something in there so the clamps can clamp evenly to the desk. So just a couple of things to think about depending on your desk setup. But overall, the Juanio is a great mount and an easy process to set up. Like you're gonna be in love with this thing, I love it. It's easy to move these monitors around, navigate, get them to the configuration that you want, how you work best. The rotation is easy. Look how I'm moving this thing around. Look how easy this is. I mean, this, I am in love with this system and it's inexpensive, very cost effective way to add a dual monitor setup to your desk. I am in love with this setup. Also, 
we're going to talk about later on in some more videos you know it because i'm all set up so i got a way to bring you guys some more content hoping you guys are loving the content but we're going to talk about a docking station so setting up the dual monitor system now i use a macbook pro so we're going to talk about setting up the macbook pro with a docking station and using um, two displays i'm going to talk about these lg displays so those are going to be some videos coming down the line get ready for that i am ready to give you guys some more content so make sure you guys are liking these videos make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel already because this is daniel lanier i got more reviews diy how to's and of course cool motivation coming for you wait 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 what was i thinking i you guys want to see how it looks with with the displays on right all right hold on a second i got you all right check it out all right, so there it is. You can see it. The Hawanyo is holding up these monitors, allowing me to have a fantastic workflow. Like these, this, the system is fantastic. I can adjust these exactly the way I want. So when I'm working in different applications, from me editing videos for you guys, to me doing my writing, working on my website, any type of setup that I'm looking for, and I can do it. And check out being able to have that 360 where i can rotate my monitor so i can go into a vertical mode for writing because i use this mode a lot for when i'm writing works out fantastic so if you're looking for something where you are maybe you're writing or you do a lot of spreadsheets things like that and you just want to have you're like tired of scrolling to the bottom this is definitely something for you to think about now for me it allows me to work in a lot of different applications in different ways so i'm really digging how the hawanyo just allows me to be more proficient and work in the different workflows that I need to work in. You guys are gonna love this system. It's fantastic. And yes, these monitors that I got, video coming up soon, look fantastic as well. But the Hawanyo's making it all possible. Love this setup and you're gonna love it too. All right, all right. So yeah, that's it, that's it. I, I, I know you guys didn't think I was gonna let you get out of here without actually seeing everything set up and how everything was looking. So it looks great. The form and function is fantastic, like I said. So if you're trying to get a dual monitor system, the Hawanyo dual monitor system, inexpensive, great way to go. Check out the link in the description. You're going to love it. Again, I got stuff to do. Getting out of here for real this time. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, Daniil Lanier, more reviews, DIY, how-to, and of course, cool motivation coming at you. I'm out for real this time. Deuces.